So when we have all these women and everything saying what they're going to say, you know, where's all the good men or where's this, where's that? Where does fem, fem, uh, feminism go when a draft happens? Right out they the run, window. They run right back into the kitchen. Yeah, yeah and you see the TikToks, right? I'm going to be back in the kitchen. Right. We're gonna but I don't, I don't buy that shit. I don't even, let them off the hook. Even, even if it was, even, even if they went back there right now to you two guys, and I'm talking to myself too, even if women went back to that, I, I still wouldn't trust it. I still would not fucking give that a chance. Right, exactly. Right, right, right. I, I still wouldn't want them. That's that's part of my message. That, that's what I'm saying. Mid-tow how do we fix it, though? MGTOW or Cowboy, how, how, do we, how do we fix that? I don't think there's MGTOW, a way to get that. MGTOW, uh, red pill, call it whatever you want. MGTOW is an evolution in human thought. It's a logical response I'll, to what we have going for us today. I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. MGTOW is an evolution in human thought. So what I mean by that, basically, it. I'm just stating what you said. You just said, even if women were willing to go back into the kitchen, so to speak, we don't even want that anymore, do we? We don't right. even want that anymore. The real truth is we're evolving. We're moving. I think I heard doubt how I think I heard Howard Dare say it the best. He said we need to move past this notion that it is a man's job or it, it is a man's duty to serve women. Now that we are in an advanced now that we are in an advanced industrial society. Basically, all throughout history, to a certain extent, Men were stuck taking care of women. We no longer have to take care of them. However, women still want to be taken care of. And they format they format society in such a way through the use of taxes, the institutions, marriage being the primary institution, that forces us, that forces the man to take care of the woman. We essentially, we have recognized this as a form of slavery or bondage. Bondage is slavery. Slavery is a war issue. And so now we must push for political. Ch- Ultimately, we, we need to push for political change. We need to get rid of the family courts. We need to demand paternity tests the second a child is born. We need to demand that fathers have the para, women have the mara, or the, the women, women can get rid of their children if they want. Men also need that right. We, we need to totally change the system. We need to totally change the system. Basically, we're we're slaves, and we've actually woken up and, and figured out that we're slaves. Well, yeah, I'm going to say because we have a tyrannical, gynocentric feminist system, trying to beat it through the legal matters and political matters isn't going to work. They'll just yes, call you think it will? Yes, absolutely. Oh, that, yeah, I mean, I respectfully disagree. That's that's what I'm saying. I don't think it will. I, I think but, I think it's already I think it's already happening. It's happening right in front of your eyes. I was just listening to. Uh, you know who Better Bachelor is? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, there's many examples. I'll just give you one example. The most fresh example. The example of today. Better Bachelor came out uh, today. Uh, seven hours ago with the video and he's talking about how what was it the the mayor of the city of taipei just announced that they're just they're if i remember the exact number was one thousand seven hundred fifty three dollars uh the mayor of taipei is now offering every single man who is willing to get married within the municipality of taipei taipei is the capital of uh, taiwan they will give every man one thousand seven hundred fifty three dollars if he marries and then and then he just gave a break and then he just gave an analysis he was like well see the problem is even though you get seventeen hundred dollars up front the men still know that in the long run they're going to end up paying more and they're going to be screwed over and they're going to lose all their rights and they're not going to have any parental rights and they're not going to have any reproductive rights and they're not going to so they're not going to take it anyway and he's right he's absolutely right this is worldwide men are realizing that this whole scam that men are realizing that women are trash 